Hi, I'm sure uh, most of you have already got exposed to the electronic engines or the so-called intelligent engines. If somebody confronts you with this and challenges you to explain the working concept of this engine, will you be intimidated or remain chilled out and flash that I know it all smile with confidence and exuberance? You all might also be aware that the logic concept and many other things differ vastly from the conventional engines. This video is a small attempt in a series to throw some light on the principles and working of the intelligent engine based on BMW MEC type of engine. It will give you a peak preview of the principles and uh, involved to execute the reversing function. It will take you through the hydraulic concepts and will possibly polish the basic concepts as required for the students preparing for exams. And please stick on to the end of the video where you can challenge yourself uh, contemplating on a question which may decide your D-Day. Uh, welcome to Chief India's Tea Time Talk and I am Armesh who will guide you through this channel. Here you can see that the engine is running ahead and the hydraulic pumps are taking suction from the B line which is from the filter and pumping the oil to the A line which is going towards the FIVA fitted in the individual units. The engine shaft is rotating uh, clockwise. So this is our starting point. Now what if the engine movement has been changed to Aston? What exactly happens when reversing order is given? Obviously, after going to the stop, well, we need to brush up two important uh, fundamental principles of variable delivery pumps to understand the intricacies. Let us start with principle one for a variable delivery pump. Here you can see that with the swash plate swinging to the left and with the prime mover rotating the pump shaft in the clockwise direction, the pump is taking suction from the B side and discharging to the A side. Now, if we change the direction of rotation of the prime mover to anti-clockwise direction, we see that the direction of flow has reversed. Now, the pump is taking suction from A side and discharging is happening to the B side. So, what is the learning? The learning is, if the direction of rotation of a variable delivery pump changes, the pump reverses that is it changes the direction of flow now here it gets very interesting it also means that the pumps will draw oil from the accumulator and will discharge into the filter <laughs> that would be hilarious we know that engine will not go astern if the pumps will discharge the oil to the filter we also know that this cannot be the case the circuit diagram clearly shows that this is a unidirectional circuit ahead or Aston, the FIVA is here and the oil should reach here. Well, there is always a solution for every challenge. Let us move on to principle number 2 of a variable delivery pump. Here you can see that the pump is rotating with the shaft in anti-clockwise direction. And the suction is from the A side and discharge is going to the B side. Now, if we swing the swash plate to the right, note that the shaft rotation is constant. It is still the same anti-clockwise. Now, the pump takes suction from B side and discharges into the pipe A. So, what is the learning? The learning is, if we change the angle of the swash plate of a variable delivery pump to the opposite side, then the variable delivery pump changes the direction of flow. It reverses. Now, this is exactly what we are going to do in the engine. When the Aston moment is given, the swash plates are reversed to enable the pump oil to flow to the FIVA which is on the A side. Failing which, it will flow to the filter on the B side. And you know what will happen. So, let us do that.
and there you see that the oil is going back to the fever oof that was quite some smart thinking yes there are a uh, quite a few guys smart guys over there who keep thinking come up with complicated ideas and that puts pressure on us to understand what they thought and for those who are desperately earning to ask the question how is the swash plate moved here it is it is moved by a control mechanism which gets a signal from the acu we are not going to get into the details here in this video hope you enjoyed and understood the concept i can see that smile on your face but wait my job is not to make you smile i guess my job is to make you think okay get ready for the spoiler now what if one of the pump swash plates does not reverse repeat now what happens if the swash plate of one of the pumps did not reverse please do drop in your views in the comment section for the benefit of your colleagues fellow brethren sorry guys this spoiler is intentional if not for me then somebody else would have definitely asked you this question just hope that somebody else is not the examiner <laughs> okay thank you